Luke, I am your father. Yeah, I'm testing the new oxygen system. It's never gonna work. Testing the new oxygen system that we're putting into Echo Yankee Zulu today. Why am I putting oxygen? onto a Cirrus SR22? Well, a couple of reasons. In Australia, it's actually a requirement for us to carry oxygen in an aircraft if we plan to fly above 10,000 feet. And whilst most of my flying is probably below that level, there are some times when you get thunderstorms, weather that you need to get above, even sometimes climbing out of icing layers can be easier and safer than descending back down through them. So it gives me options to be able to get over the top of that 10,000 ceiling that I have otherwise. So what we've decided to do is to get a portable oxygen system, which is a single bottle, uh, some tubing, and basically I'm not gonna be using that face mask, that's 18,000 feet and above. I just thought it was kind of funny for the start. But I've got what's called a cannula, a little boom cannula that's gonna sit on my headset. So we're gonna install that. We're gonna fill up the tank. We're gonna test the oxygen system. And then tomorrow, and in the next video you see on the channel, I'm gonna test it in flight. But I can't do this alone, so I'm gonna go and enlist the help of all my friends down at Blue Demon Aviation, mainly Stephen. He's gonna give me a hand. First of all, I think we're gonna fill the oxygen tank and then we're gonna start putting everything into Echo Yankee Zulu. So let's go find Steve. Saving news without blowing anything up. Stephen and Mark, who've been obviously helping me with setting this up, have been joking to some extent but also just getting across the serious nature of what we're doing here because you don't want to muck about with oxygen it's obviously very a highly pressurized system and a flammable gas very flammable but it's really um sensitive to if there's any oil in it around there's even oil in your skin mm. hence my lovely gloves today so we're not just going to like open it up and fill up in one big hit no. what's, so the, what's the idea the sort of general rule is about 200 psi per minute um, if we fill it too quickly the oxygen actually expands and heats the bottle up um, that's just what we want to try and avoid. So, yeah. we'll just hopefully, golden rule from about empty where we are today on a new bottle, about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes? That's full. All Should right. be about right. That's about as exciting as it gets. <laughs> this is the point where we wait. wait. Well, we can do a time lapse. Hang on, we can do that. <laughs> So that's just releasing the pressure in the line just now? Just the pressure in the line, yeah. Just take this line off the top of the bottle, hopefully. And what we'll do is put a little regulator on the top of the bottle. And that's good to go on the airplane. So the clips are on the back? No. Oh, maybe like that. Clips are on. Why is this the most complicated part? <laughs> Open up the webbing loops, line up the strap with the top surface. See, this is what YouTube was invented for. This is shots like this of two grown men not being able to attach two straps to a chair. Hugging your chair. <laughs> I'm not hugging your airplane on purpose, I swear. That's all right, she needs a bit of love. She hasn't flown for two weeks. That's my emergency wee bowl as well, just in case. So don't Note touch yourself, that remove that before. <laughs> I haven't used it. It's like not going to stay in there if it's been used. I was going to say, if that's a color, you got a problem. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. The amount of people that are laughing at us right now. <laughs> this is by no means an instructional video on how to do this. <laughs> this is how not to install. <laughs> do they go wrap around? Yeah, it's just a process of tightening them all. Alright. We don't ever need to get this bag off, do we? It's now a permanent part of this airplane. <laughs> I just want to try and change this top. Also, I found this. What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> I found it on the floor. The sequence that you would have seen just now of us putting the, I say us, it was mainly Stephen, putting the bottle on the back there, probably took maybe a minute, two minutes, something yeah, like, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely only just, just one minute. It was really, really easy. It was yeah. very easy. So if you're doing this yourself, 
Look, it might take you 20 minutes, but you're obviously not an expert like we are. So this is the, um, this is kind of the brains of the unit, I suppose. This is what they call the EDS. I'll put what that is up on the screen. But this is what regulates the oxygen flow to me when I'm flying or whoever's in the aircraft. I'm just thinking, do you want to have it? <laughs> now, do we that's think either that's good a... <laughs> or bad, I don't know. So red for the bottle, blue for the... Look slightly panicked when you put this in. I think that's in. Just so that's going into the regulator. Into the, the regulator top. top. Then all you want to do then, if you need to, when you want to turn it on, the tap on the side of the bottle. Yep. It's a little bit flimsy, so reach around and turn that on. Yep. Just left open. Left it open. Yep. Plug it into there. So that comes into here. That one. Oh, right, sorry. Yep. You then plug your mask in, and it should turn on. Hopefully, get an alarm this time. N. Oh, hang on, power up test. LEDs flash green than red, and oxygen pulse is then delivered to the station outlet. That's a good sound. It was a good sound. See, you knew what we're talking about. Uh, let's plug in the. Uh, should we plug in the, the boom? So that should work if that's on N. Right. We need to be at 20,000 feet. We do. Give me a complex maths problem. Oh, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> Oxygen for Echo Yankee Zulu. The other, there are a couple of other little things that I wanted to do whilst I was down here. One of which was put all the gear back into the plane that I took out when I did my Cessna Grand Caravan flight. All these bits which I use in the aircraft, so I'm going to put these back. But talking of filming, one of the things I noticed is from the wing view camera that I have out here from the GoPro here, sometimes I get this effect. It's called a rolling shutter basically, which means that I don't get a very nice smooth propeller motion and it can be a little bit distracting. So what I've bought is one of these ND filters that I normally use inside the aircraft, but an ND filter for this GoPro mount, which hopefully on the next flight will get rid of all of that rolling shutter and give me a nice blur on the prop instead. If you're not so much into your filmmaking, it's like um, the camera automatically adjusts, but it basically just tones the brightness down, which means it increases the shutter speed on the GoPro increases or decreases which means it actually has this effect of blurring the prop and it should and then the third thing that I wanted to try is related to audio so I've got a line level adjuster which basically uh, keeps the level of audio that I get from air traffic control and in my headset down so it's not clipping so I'm not getting all that distortion on the line but I tried one which was pretty good I didn't mind it at all but it was Still there was a little bit of clipping going on, so actually the company iAvionics, the company that sent me the original one, have sent me another version, so thank you very much to Steve and the guys there for sending me that, which apparently reduces the level even more, so it should give me a much cleaner signal. One's got a white tip, one's got a black tip. I don't know. So put the new one in. Do you know what, we can test that quickly, hang on. All right, now that's in, let's go audio in, not mic in. One, two, Ground. No. One, two three, four. One, two, three, four. Just testing, one, two, three, four. Let's get ready close and test, one, two, three, four. See if that's helping to reduce the level. It looks like it is based on what I can see on the level output here. It's not going right up to the top, those black squares. If it goes right to the top, I think the signal's being clipped, but that's looking quite good. All right, I won't know until I listen to this back, but let me know what you think. Yeah, I know I've still got that buzzing going on behind my PFD. A couple of you have mentioned that to me in the past. We are looking at it. 
Okay, next time on the channel, we'll actually be testing that oxygen system in flight, so stay tuned for that. If you are watching these videos and you're enjoying them and you're not a subscriber, do consider clicking on that subscribe button. It means a lot to me to see the channel growing. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Otherwise, next time, bring your oxygen mask, because we're going to be going high next time. Way high.